Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Toya DTV. Welcome all kings, queens, and anyone in between. Y'all, I am reviewing Married to Medicine. I'm so happy that this show is back on. It does something for me, y'all. But anywho, we are on Season 7, Episode 1, Open and Honest, okay? So the episode starts off with Jackie and Heavenly um, at what they call Girl Code. It's a Girl Code event pretty much stating what you don't do as a girlfriend, okay? So they first start talking off, when they first start talking, they're talking off the topic of uh, what you, pretty much what you don't do. So Jackie was saying that you don't go ghost, you don't ghost one of your girlfriends. You don't just disappear and not give a heads up or whatever. Then Jackie mentioned, <laughs> y'all, I'm laughing because this show took no time to get right back into the drama but anyway jackie asked heavenly was it wrong for quad to air that mariah has done drugs we don't know that that we don't know if that's true or not but i was a little shocked that she did that but anyway heavenly said yes it was wrong and is it wrong to pretty much go in on on somebody's best friend's husband? Now, Jackie is talking about Heavenly going in on Cecil, which is Simone's husband, which is Jackie's best friend. There was some Twitter beef, y'all, regarding... In between Cecil and Heavenly. I didn't see it. I didn't know about it until like now. Um, at some point they started bickering and I don't know what Cecil said about Heavenly needing to pressure wash her house. But Heavenly responded so therefore there was a Twitter beef. Anyway. Um, so then the scene changes over. And Heavenly is out with Quad, and they're headed to a hydrotherapist. And y'all, they are doing vaginal hydrotherapy. <laughs> Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. But I'm the reason I'm laughing is because of the the reason that Heavenly gave Quad for bringing her there. She says that. When you've been with a man, they leave their print on your vagina. And she wants Quad's ex to be off of her vagina. So pretty much, they go into the hydro room and they go in. And she explains to them what they're going to do. Because Quad is like, what, what are we doing? And I don't blame her for being concerned. So you have, it's like a toilet. They put things down in it and hot water. So it steams up and it's supposed to do whatever it's going to do from the steam. Okay. So they was explaining how it's all natural. It's just going to naturally get you back. It's a, it's a vaginal rejuvenation. Okay. So Kwa was a little skeptical, but she went through with it. So they're both, you know, on these little pots and they're getting steamed or whatever. And they're having conversation, just general conversation. And out of nowhere, Heavenly was like, oh! And she started. And I'm looking like, Heavenly, you're not doing a, a number two on the pot, right? I mean, y'all, her face was. <laughs> her face was priceless but anyway that gave me a laugh but um she just kind of shut up after that like yo this steam is a little too steamy and i mean i get it it's very sensitive so i get it so that was a laugh so after that we end up with simone toya and mariah they're sitting down 
at like a restaurant or a bar type thing. And they're talking about girl code, what they thought of it, what they thought about it. And not surprising, Mariah thought that it was like wrong. It was disrespectful that Jackie even brought up that Quad said she did drugs at one point. I don't blame her because whoever didn't know probably didn't need to know. And she's trying to let that blow by now. We don't know whether it's true or not. We are not Mariah. Okay? <sighs> that was girl code, though. Like, seriously. That was... Woo. That was deep. Like, that was lawsuit kind of deep. So, um, she just said how she can't... She's kind of shocked that Jackie brought it up and... Um, she now sees Jackie for who she really is. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, it's kind of sad because I don't think Jackie meant it to be a negative. She's just going off of things she's heard since she's been around these people. Okay? So, um, they were talking about that. And what else happened, y'all? I mean, Mariah was pretty much saying that she no longer trusts Jackie. Y'all, this goes back. This is nothing new. I'm not 100% sure on why Mariah and Jackie don't mesh. But what I do know is that it started in season one. Who knows where it started before the show? We don't know if these people are really cool or they're show cool. So, in season one, remember Mariah and Toya got into it. They got the fighting. Afterwards, Jackie checked on both of them. Now, when Jackie checked on Mariah, Mariah felt as though Jackie already had her mind made up about what was what, and she kind of came to her just as a due diligence just to be kind. Um, I think it started then. She felt like Jackie waited till everything settled before checking on her. Um, I, I'm like, is that the only thing though? Did I miss something? Do y'all know more? Let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, so that was that. So, um, the scene switches over to Jackie. Jackie is still working out, y'all. She is big and still working out. I ain't mad at her, though. It is what it is. You like what you like. You love what you love, you know? So Jackie's going for a run. And we see Curtis is at the house getting an IV. We don't know whether he, he's feeling bad and don't know whether he's gotten food poison or whatever. But they, they got some IVs going. It's a nurse there. Jackie finishes her run and she comes into the house okay so Jackie comes into the house she's like oh yeah I'm so glad you here being sarcastic because we thought we was gonna have to call 911 because he was just you know didn't know whether he had food poisoning and they just started laughing kind of laughed it off so he wanted to get her back and he was like, yeah, I'm glad I got a real doctor here. Um, you know what? I can do you one better. I'm going to call real doctor, Dr. Heavenly. And Jackie was like, so that was cute. That was their little scene or whatever. Oh, y'all, they um, moved into a new house. They moved. Now, the clips was kind of confusing because did they build that house or what? I don't know 100%. They said they moved, and I don't know if they moved and built the house. I don't know. It was, a little, it was a little confusing to me. But anyway, so Curtis got his little IV and all of that, and then um, that was pretty much it for that. Nothing major, no major changes with Jackie. So then they switched the scene over to Contessa, and Contessa... Well, actually, it starts off with her husband. 
He is having a hard time getting those children ready for school. He was like, oh my gosh, it's so much to to include in getting ready. You got to match hair ties with outfits and barrettes and shoes. I'm like, y'all, I don't have kids. But a part of me says, when that day does come, honey, it's called prep. Okay? You can prepare for the whole week so that you don't have to do this every morning. You don't have to do this every morning. You don't have to do it weekly. You can do it every two weeks, every three weeks, monthly, however. However, number of, I mean, it's an easier way. Okay, some of y'all might be looking at me like it's easier said than done. I get it. I don't have kids. I have a four-legged son, and I'm cool with that, okay? It is what it is. But I just feel like if we take the time to prepare, take out, take out four outfits at a time. You know, you see what they got in their hair. Just go pick what matches. I mean, I think it would make life a little easier. But that was him. He, he got it done. He took the kids to school. They switch over to Contessa. And Contessa is back in school. She's been in school for eight months and she's going for a public health degree. So I, I'm like, okay. Um, nothing wrong with education. It's like, okay, cool. Not really much going on there as far as her story. Um, they did have a couple of flashbacks, how she did battle between continuing to be a physician and being a mommy. Um, it, they keep showing this clip that breaks my heart. Her daughter is telling her that sometimes I forget about you. Y'all, that... Some about that is like, wait a minute. Why am I doing all of this? Is it to benefit them? Can I benefit them a different way and still be here for them? That's when you got to go back and reevaluate, y'all. But um, the scene switches again. Toya and Eugene, they have built their house from the ground up, of course. It is six bedrooms, six baths. And I'm like, whoa. But it is what it is. It's not completed yet, but it's enough for them to be able to move in and do what they want to do, pretty much. Um, the pool's not finished and that kind of stuff. But it was so cute for them to show the scene of um, the boys. They just happen to go outside and they're already playing with the neighbors. So that was cool. That was, you know, settling. Um... The kids had that little moment before they went outside where they was complaining about the pool and piling water and all of that. So, that was cute. Um, then they switch over to Simone. Simone's youngest child is learning how to drive. And Simone was like, why are you so far away from the curb? And in my mind, I'm thinking, stay away from the curb. <laughs> I'm like... I don't think I would be able to handle that, y'all. I don't know. My dad taught me how to drive. And I ain't gonna say it was at a legal age. But, uh, uh <clears throat> I've been driving. <laughs> I have been driving since I was first hitting double digits in age. We'll just say that. Now, I ain't going to say how it was done. But, yeah, your girl can will, okay? But, anyway, um, so he's pra he's practicing. They're pulling up to a restaurant where they want to eat. And he er, jerks the car, slams the brakes. And, you know, of course, everybody's head jerks. I believe that was edited. I do not believe the tire screeched, okay? That's just me. I don't believe that the tire screeched, y'all. But, anywho, so that was that. And then... Simone's oldest son. Simone's oldest son is back home now. Apparently, he didn't do what he needed to do in school, so they are no longer empty nesters. Unfortunately. I'm happy for Cecil, y'all. He sold, like... Can't remember the exact value, but I think he sold like a million dollar house. I think it was like nine million. I'm not a hundred percent sure. 
But I'm happy for Cecil. I feel like Cecil need to use this platform to the best of his ability. I agree with Dr. Heavenly. Dr. Heavenly said that before too. Show us, show us the houses. Show us you out there with your clients. Like, I know you don't get as much airtime as Simone, but weave Simone into your story. You know, some have Simone weave you into her storyline so that you can get the platform. You got the platform. You just got to make it happen. You got to show more so that people, you expose what you're doing. So, yeah, I'm happy for Cecil. All right? So, <laughs> they showed this clip about Simone loving to block people. I blocked Heavenly on Twitter, y'all. I, I love to block. She, she kills me with the neck, y'all. I love to block people. I will block you. Girl. I'm like, all right. <laughs> I'm like, all right. I mean, people with this blocking stuff. Why are you friending or following somebody that you don't care whether you have to block them? Like, people take that stuff to heart. Oh my God, she blocked me and this, this and that. And I'm like, hold up, y'all. I got the do not disturb on. Don't buy the call. I shouldn't have responded to it. It, was, it probably would have backed out. But, anywho. Um... <clears throat> I thought that was kind of funny. So, Heavenly's husband has a brand new surgical center that he owns this surgical center. I am so proud of him. I am. He owns it. So, he's walking around. He's giving people tours. Um, it was so funny because this this was the whole point of the party to pretty much bring awareness that he owns the surgical center, give people tours, have people ask what it is he does there so that he can give insight on, on his business. That's how you do it. You use your platform. I don't blame him at all. So, um, what else? What happens next, y'all? So, they're there for the party. And everybody's kind of, you know, seeing who's there who is, they're kind of like sensing the the energy in the room pretty much is what, what's happening. Okay. So everybody's, they're not there yet. This is, um, this is the pre-scene before that. They're going to, they have a little flash where they're showing everybody's getting ready. So Toya's calling Eugene. Hey baby what's up so i gotta be honest y'all toya keeps it sexy in her marriage honey he's like why you calling me like that <laughs> he said why you calling me like that you all sexy and i could be around somebody she's like don't call me or don't answer when you around somebody i gotta get toya props on that she keeps it together when it comes down to the sexiness and her marriage and pleasing her husband and all of that toy is gonna give it to you okay so um <clears throat> so that's the one i'll talk about nobody else was doing anything major so everybody's getting ready to come to the the, the surgical center and toya called eugene because he is working so he um she's gonna get a ride there she's gonna ride with mariah and her husband okay so the scene switches over to mariah mariah being messy from the jump y'all mariah is bringing her sister lake now we know that pretty much Lake is now in the picture because of the last reunion. Apparently, Quad slept with her husband. I don't know. I really don't care, y'all. But now Lake is getting her airtime on Married to Medicine. Why? I don't know. Why? Because Mariah likes drama. Okay? And she knows 
that Miss Quad is going to be there for Heavenly, okay? All right, so they um they go or whatever. Now, they get there. And everybody's, you know, kind of walking in, like I said, filling out the room, trying to figure out who's there, who's not, like what headspace everybody's in. Okay, they're kind of trying to read the room. So, Heavenly acknowledges Cecil and Simone. Um, I don't blame Heavenly for speaking to them. Her husband is friends with all of them, so he invited all of them. So Heavenly is like, thank y'all for coming. Thank y'all for coming now. And Cecil's cold towards Heavenly. Cecil's cold towards Heavenly. And then she later, she, a few minutes, like a few seconds later, she speaks to Simone. Simone is very cold to Heavenly. Okay. So. It was like. Thank y'all for coming. Yeah no problem. And it, it just wasn't normal. It wasn't. Y'all. Do not disturb does not work. Okay. We got that out the way. But anyway there was not many smiles. There was not. Friendly gestures. Okay, but that was with Simone and, and Cecil and Heavenly, okay? So then, Miss Quad, Miss Quad, she got it, she got it. She walks in and, you know, she's saying hey to the room, hey to the room. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, Heavenly told her to go get something to eat or told her to go somewhere. I don't know, but... Heavenly, I mean, not Heavenly, Quad walks in and pathways like this. She walked past Simone and didn't say anything. Um, again, I don't know what the beef is between them. I don't 100% know. They did have a blow up last season. Um, Oh my god. I got to I got to pull the energy to talk about this. <sighs> okay. Simone feels like when you're going through a tough time in your marriage and your in in life period, you need to fall on your girlfriends and talk to them. Well, Quad was wanting to deal with things by herself last season. So they bumped heads, you know, they all uh, came heavenlies like um, seafood boil or whatever and that's when everything just blew up and Quad was just explaining how like look I deal with stuff by myself I don't understand why y'all feel like I need to tell y'all everything and pretty much that was it it is what it is They ex it, it was a huge explosion I'm sure y'all already saw it but now they still are not cool I thought there was a moment in between there that they had like smoothed things over. So I don't know what happened, y'all. But that was that. They walked past each other. Um, that was that. Um, then when Simone gets back to the group, she tells everybody, no, Toya said, I know you saw um, who we saw. She was like, yeah. She walked right past me. And here comes Mariah. It, it's just sad. It's just sad. And I'm like, not really, y'all. Because here we go with reality TV, honey. If I don't like you, I walk in the room and speak to you. Then everybody talking. She phony, she this, she that. If I come to an event, I don't like you and I walk past you, you're still talking. Oh, she saw you. She didn't speak. I mean, you could be cordial. You could be this. You could be that. When in reality TV, for real, when you say people need to be cordial, that's when they call it being fake. It's a very thin line. It's a very thin line. And I honestly don't blame Quad. 
Why well, I said I'm here to support. I ain't with no drama. I don't want to get into it. It is what it is. I'm a, I see her, but I don't see her. I'm just going to live this day right. And live in this moment right now without even acknowledging that. I'm just going to... I'm just going to be in the moment without negativity. There's always a chance that things can turn on you. It's crazy. Okay. All right. So uh, back to when, when Damon was giving his tours. Y'all, I forgot to tell y'all. So when he was giving the tours and stuff, she was like, yes. And he was like, I own this. Heavenly got all excited. Oh, yeah. And she got down on one knee and was pretty much asking him to marry her all over again. Y'all, am I the only one that caught that Damon said? Nah, that's later on tonight. <laughs> Damon! Damon said that's later on tonight. Damon's so calm and culture. Oh my God, man. He is a cool dude. So, that was funny. Alright, so... Jackie comes in the room. Jackie brings up girl code. Um, at this point, everybody's in the room. All the women are in the room. Jackie brings up girl code, and Mariah tells her straight up, hey, I ain't really... I see you for who you are now. I mean, I wasn't expecting you to bring something like that up. Um, and I think it kind of went over Jackie's head. I know she understood what Mariah was saying, but I don't think, I think Jackie was like, okay, no matter what, I'm not about to cause a scene at this man's event. Cause you know, y'all remember Jackie done put some people out during her event. Okay. All right. So they're sitting in the room. They're talking about girl code and all of that. And Y'all, this happened so fast, I don't even know how it happened. And I'm sitting right there watching. Toya and Contessa. Bickering. They're get there. Okay. Again, I don't know how it happened, y'all. But pretty much, Contessa was like... What did she say? What did she say? Do I know exactly what she said? Contessa said, this is her exact words. Toya's husband is the literal definition of a big ass bitch. Y'all, that is girl code all day. But let me pose a question though. Do girl code count when you don't even mess with the person like that? When you don't get down with a person like that, is there still a girl code? Y'all tell me. Because y'all, I'm proud of Toya. Because I know Toya wanted to jump on Contessa. Contessa has hit Toya with, with the tongue. Not with a, with a fist, with her tongue. About their weight. Toya being fat, Eugene being fat. She will hit them with that every chance she gets. Like, she will hit them with that. And she just turned around and called Toya, her, Toya's husband, Eugene, what she called him, is mad disrespectful. She might be still mad, y'all, about Toya hitting her in the boob, flicking, from, getting from the crab, hitting her in the boob when they was on vacation. It's like, they cannot be on the same wavelength. I don't know what it is. They have to... They bump heads. But I'm proud of Toya in this scene. Because Toya did not go off. Toya held her peace. Because. Toya could have let it let it, let it it rip up in there. You know Toya. Mm. But y'all. That was pretty much the show. I'm so excited. Um, This is my very first video. For my channel. I just started it. Y'all, I got to shout out some people who I watch on a weekly basis. Have me cracking up laughing who inspired me to do this. Let's start with uh, Is Rocks. Girl, you are hilarious. Okay, Ashley Miller, straight real gutter, don't care if you like what she say or not. With the funny, okay? Then we got Bonzi Blue who do all the voices. Rocks does the voices too. Uh... 
Then I got Justin from Benchworthy. I watch him just to get kind of get the scoop on the housewives and uh he does a he does a little bit um of other things but i watch him to get the scoop on housewives because i will be reviewing housewives of atlanta when they come on as well but um i have i have supporters too y'all know who y'all are um i'm just grateful to be able to do this i feel like it's my release um and it's, it's really fun like these shows married to medicine i love i love 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 this show so i will see y'all next week I might surprise y'all and do one other show before next week. I'm not 100% sure on that yet. And I won't release the name of that show yet either. So y'all tune in next week. Or I might pop up. See you later on in the week. Hit that bell so that you can get notifications. Like, comment, subscribe. VA out. Uh.